All right, hey there, guys. So this was inspired in part by a recent uh, documentary I watched about the Mongols, and I've always been interested in Mongol history. So I'm thinking, how viable would these tactics? Because I've done this before, but let's just for the sake of experimentation, let's see how viable Mongol tactics are in Shogun Two and Avi. The, uh, very balanced army setup, so this is something you'd normally find in campaign. Then two bow cavalry, like bow cavalry gets some use in multiplayer, and this is also showing you that bow cavalry aren't exactly useless or too specialized of units. But they get you some use in multiplayer, decent amount of use in multiplayer. But in single player, it seems like people just write them off for other alternatives. So balanced army with some bow cavalry versus a balanced enemy army kind of like you you would find something like this in campaign maybe more yari samurai instead but also give, making sure to give them both samurai so that i don't have missile superiority and they end up attacking me and with that let's uh head on into battle this is going to take advantage of, the, of a quirk in the AI that only applies to bow cavalry. And this is a major reason bow cavalry are so useful. This doesn't work for bow units. And you'll see, you'll see what I'm talking about in a bit. Then I'm going to have to bait them out of the bow cavalry. I'll bring, I'll bring the Yari Samurai out as well just as an anti-cavalry deterrent now what happens here is i'm gonna make sure they walk because that's more conducive to them firing i don't want them to pull away the bows though i'm wary of that yeah just stop right there and start targeting the r samurai they should start pulling away too They normally start pulling away the moment the bow cavalry come in range. That's like a quirk the AI has. I know it does that with the Ari Ashigar more reliably. I'm gonna try the same thing with Katana Samurai pull. Alright, they're they're coming. And the, the light cavalry, I think. Okay, so they've taken the bait. I'm gonna just turn back and fire. I normally I would prefer not to use skirmish mode, but I'll, uh, it's still it's it's better to use it when you have when you have other things to tend to. But in a scenario like this, I don't have much I don't have that much to do. So you're just pulling them away. This is something the Mongols would do. They would harass units, then pull away, give off a feigned retreat, make just make it look like they were retreating, and then swoop in for the kill, just strangle the unit. Now what happens here is they're just going to get hit. They're just going to get hit in the flanks, hopefully. They, they, they just rapid advanced. They have rapid advance on, so they're slightly outrunning my Katana Samurai. But it's going to wear out soon. I'm going to lead the Bull Cavalry around. And they got hit in the flanks. Time to press the advantage, they're already wavering. I think I think one good flanking charge should be enough. Alright, there we go. And because the general's alive, they're not gonna break. They're gonna they're not gonna shatter, they're just gonna break while we'll make quick work of them. So we lost about 20 men just to do that. Get rid of a pretty high quality unit. And they're sending in light cavalry to go for my bows. I'm going to have the R Samurai waiting over here. Turn on guard mode for its own sake. Yeah, it just it just writes itself, basically, this whole battle plan. Keep... Make sure they still have... A shot at the bow cavalry. Just to entice them. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I think we just got caught. We just got caught. Weirdly. Okay, I thought I thought the bow cavalry would turn or the light cavalry would turn around. Yeah, I'm gonna have to turn around to fight this. 
major flub on my side. Bow cavalry. They're weirdly okay. They they held pretty well against that actually. It's not like I'm playing the Takeda or something where we have better uh, where we have better cavalry. I'm surprised my bow cavalry didn't take that many losses. That was that was surprising. For pulling out cavalry, you want to have your own missile troops. Like cavalry will charge either katanas. Or will charge either katanas or missile troops. So you want to have your samurai hidden nearby, like in between your your own missile troops and cavalry. Oh, and look at this! Look at this! We have oh oh oh! I thought I thought it was a deer. I know there are some deer on these maps. I thought okay, but it's it is not. Yeah, that's solitary light cavalry that survives. So let's go for that again. It seems pretty methodical and just like slow burn, but it's actually quite fun to do this. Feels extremely surgical. And by virtue of them being mounted, this is an advantage they have. Another advantage they do have is kiting as archers. So one, 1v1 one one bow cavalry versus bow samurai usually isn't a good idea. They have twice as many arrows and bow samurai fire a lot faster. But... Since we have two, we can have one firing while the other kites. Okay, this is great. So one of them is already... Oh, wait. Are they are they advancing or something? Okay, no, they're just wheeling around. Yeah, pull away, pull away. Just dodge, dodge everything that comes their way. What is happening over here? Oh, they are charging their whole army. Okay, that is interesting. I did not expect that. They are charging the whole army forward. Okay, we'll have we'll have the Yara Samurai waiting for them, don't you worry. Or are they just wheeling around? I can't tell. I really cannot tell what is going on over here. Yeah, just move around. Intercept light cavalry. With my own light cavalry. And we did that without getting a counter charge off on our light cavalry. So there's that. Then the Yara Samurai are going to come in the rear. Yep, they're already wavering. Oh, they're going to gonna, they're gonna route. They're going to shatter. And they're not going to... They're not going to have enough... Okay, that was premature. I was... I was concerned. Okay, so most of our army is intact over here. We've gotten rid of Yari Samurai. Uh, all of their cavalry units are gone. So at this point, we already have like full control of the battlefield. We already have full control of the battlefield. Now we're gonna... We don't have to fear being caught by any cavalry. The only weakness, the only real threat that bow cavalry face are light cavalry and like Yari cavalry, spear cavalry in general because they can actually catch up. Let's try pulling away. Okay, we are pulling away the buoyant and we can just... We can just walk the cavalry away, that's enough. It's enough to just walk the cavalry away. If we run, if we run, we're gonna run out of range and they're just gonna run back to their line. Okay, okay, they've... Gonna have to, we... we... Moved a little too far out. Yeah, there we go. They're back. We're gonna. We're not gonna walk straight back from them just to try and keep the distance equal. Yeah, this is this is an issue. 
I think I think it, it would be better to send the R samurai because they're infantry and they won't they won't walk as fast away. Get a shot off. And off you go. Returning fire completely misses. And they are going back now. Bring out the Yari Samurai, put him in loose formation. Yari Samurai are really good for baiting bows because um, they have they have decent armor and the enemy isn't going to charge them down with cavalry. If you use Katana Samurai for baiting, they're just going to send out their cavalry and it's going to become a mess. Unless you're anticipating that. Okay, there's the bait. And okay, both of the bow units came to take that bait. Uh, I know that AI archers are usually like very reluctant to change targets. So I expect they're going to stick to the bow samurai while my bow cavalry just pick them up. Maybe not. Maybe I was wrong. Yeah, I, I don't know. Did I turn off fire at will? I do that? Why did I do that? Alright. And then pull out and then bring light cavalry since they're already on the they're already baited. Okay, 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 dodge. Just dodge, 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 dodge. Oh boy. Okay, we did we we took three losses for that whole fire arrow volley. Probably gonna regret this. Nope. Yeah, okay, we, we dodged that. Okay, one horse one horse went up in flames over there, that's fine. Okay, so we got rid of the fire arrow volley. Maybe they might have another fire arrow volley waiting for us. Will they? Okay, yeah, let's pull out. Pull out from that. We're gonna hit them from both sides with bow cavalry. And the great thing about bow cavalry, they're just nice and versatile. You can you can throw anything. You can throw them like opportunistically. I'm gonna take some cavalry losses, but it's fine. I think we're playing on normal battle difficulty, so they don't they don't get any of their, their dumb the, the archers don't get any of their dumb buffs. So you you would have to take that into account on higher difficulties. That archers get insane, like unbelievable, or uh, buffs to their accuracy and their loading speed. Okay, so they've sent a Yari Ashigaru. They have sent out a Yari Ashigaru, and we're just gonna, we'll happily take, we'll happily lead them. And when you want your bow cavalry to fire, make sure they're walking. They, they do a better job of firing while they're walking. Uh, no, don't do that. So here's how this works. Same thing again. Rinse and repeat. You just want to rinse and repeat. Bring in the light cavalry, maybe. They're getting really confused over here because... Yeah, they're getting very confused over here. We have the katanas coming in. Ooh, light cavalry, make sure you stay out of that. And they're gonna get hit. They're gonna get hit in the rear. I think we can make them route with one more. Yeah, we made them route. Yep, we made them route. I'm gonna pull my katanas out now just to get them back into cover. Now I'm going to turn off our will while they're busy chasing this unit down, making sure it cannot rally. Pull out. You're going to get targeted by archers. So that unit is spent, for the, virtually spent. 50, 50 men in the Ari Ashigaru, not really ideal. Not really, not really effective. 
Now the thing is, okay, here they come. They've come back again. They've come back for some more. Oh no, no, no. Don't don't charge into melee. I think I think one volley is enough. One volley is gonna be enough. Yep, one one volley from two bow cavalry units was enough. Now it's a question of getting rid of the solitary boy unit. Okay, oh wait, we took we took a bit of aggro over there. I'm gonna start walking over here, bring in the Yari Samurai, pull them way too far back. It's many an inconvenience, it's not gonna hurt the battle plan. See if we can fire on this unit while it's busy targeting. Okay, it switched targets. Yep, it switched targets. And they they don't even have they don't oh boy they don't have, they don't have a secondary boy unit so I could I could probably just charge my light cavalry through the trees over here. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Oh wait, no, I went too far. Yep, I went too far. Your bow cavalry get hidden. Uh, light cavalry, sorry, get hidden. Got the Yar Samurai coming in over here. And now, you don't have any cavalry or any archers to counter my own. I'm going to bring the Yar Samurai back to make sure they don't switch targets. My light cavalry are pretty beaten up. Okay, we took four losses on the Yari Samurai. And now when they lose this archer unit, they're probably going to do a glory charge because they no longer have any archers whatsoever. Yo, uh... Yeah. This fight's taking a bit too long. You're wavering. Yep, we have... Okay, that, that unit's been shattered. Let's pull back over here. They should start advancing now that they lost all of their archer units. Yep, they're doing it. They're doing it. They're doing the glory charge. They are doing the glory charge. Probably. Maybe not. Okay. Well, I don't have to worry about any archer units now. Any return fire. So this is where it gets really easy. Just really, really easy. Yeah, I'm going to turn off melee mode over here. The only question about the strategy is if you have the patience for this. I do actually quite like mobbing up multiple melee units on just one helpless one. Yeah, I think I can I think I can just bring everything closer right now. And you can like mix and match units. You could add like match locks to the strategy so you lead them into the firing range of match lock units and just shred them. Which I think I'm gonna do next. Okay, better get them out. Better get them out. And charge the Okay, one one horse got caught over there. Yeah, one horse got caught, got the light cavalry out in time. And just charge. Charge the rear of this unit, and that's good enough. Yep, just slaughter. I'm surprised the enemy army is not advancing. I, I guess when it ca when it calculates missile superiority, it doesn't count bow cavalry or maybe mounted cavalry in general, which is weird. And I'm down to half ammunition right now. Yeah, this is something that only happens that you can only really do with bow cavalry, like baiting units out like this. You can do it with Yari cavalry, but yeah, you'd have to go really close. And if they have archers, that's a no-no. If they have archers, that's a big no. Um, bow infantry, just 
aren't aren't very good aren't as good at, at pulling away units from the main stack the ai doesn't seem to care that it's getting picked off by bows okay we have another unit coming up now i'm gonna bring in the yaria shigaru over here Uh, quickly take the opportunity to charge this unit down while it's isolated. Yeah, it's already it broke. It broke even before I could get there. Yo, bow cavalry, get out of there! Oh wait, we just got them. We barely. Oh, we barely tied them down. They're probably gonna break because they're outnumbered. They're, they're gonna break because they, they, they broke before the charge even came home because of how heavily outnumbered, how badly outnumbered they were. Okay, so. And I still have. Oh, wait, I forgot about this light cavalry unit that I had this whole time. Oh, wait. Yeah, I, I need to stop getting distracted over here. I forgot about the light cavalry unit I had this whole time. No more need for loose formation. And because they're katanas, just charge them down. You don't have to worry about taking major losses. It's going to start wavering soon enough. Yeah, look at those. Look at those numbers. It would probably just rout or shatter. Yeah, it, it's routed. They, they all oh they're routing and then the general is gonna route now the army losses are coming in so yeah we've established it does work a glorious victory will soon be yours. it does it does work more or less on like every unit type and if the unit general on the flank yeah so that's that so we did all that with the only two units that took significant losses were like these light cavalry and some some wear and tear on the uh, bow cavalry over here but yeah interesting they also i i thought i was gonna check if they have wedge formation they don't have wedge formation apparently the only cavalry unit that lacks a wedge that's interesting it would have been really interesting if they did have wedge like what are the applications for that like on ranged cavalry um Yari Samurai, Yari Ashigaru again are gonna be in one group. Just the easy... The easy deployment. I'll have to see if they... I'll have to see... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Actually, no, I'm... I'm gonna do a pike and shot formation. So combining pike and shot with Mongol tactics. Hmm... Now I'm gonna have to yeah I'm gonna have to make this a locked group over here. This is all gonna be a locked group. Yeah. And then either katana or yari samurai if any units try to come around at the flank. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, they are they are approaching me. That's bad. But we can still make something work from this. I have missile superiority, so I have two matchlocks and a bow cavalry, and they're coming after me. They're the most dangerous over here. Or they're gonna go. Yeah, this is something weird with bow cavalry. They just sometimes just ignore your firing order of which target you gave them. Okay, now it takes. There's a delay before they switch targets. Okay. So we're going to have these units in Yari Wall. I should have the general and stand and fight because Yari Ashigaru's morale isn't too good. Especially if they're getting friendly fired by guns. Yep, especially if they're getting friendly fired by guns. Okay, we have some... And you could just pull away these units and like circle around the map with them. You don't even need to actually engage them. Just removing them from the fight effectively. And we're gonna and then we're gonna send in the Yar Samurai. Oh boy. 
Yeah, pull away, pull away, pull away all these units over here. Get the Katana Samurai to catch them. Just get the Katanas to catch and then charge in the Bow Cavalry to the rear. And we're gonna we're, we're pretty much using the Katanas over here as an anvil for the spear units. So that already worked. We're gonna avoid getting charged in the rear now. Having Katanas just charged in the rear. We're gonna have matchlocks getting hit. I'm gonna I should have I should have put them on guard mode. That was a mistake on my part. Yeah, that was a mistake on my part, not putting him in guard mode, but I'll just go for the general, I guess. Yeah, the general is almost... he's pretty worn down. He's pretty worn down, I'll go for the general. And then, this unit over here, yeah, routing. So they're gonna they're gonna stay targeting my uh, bow cavalry. I'm gonna hit the light cavalry in the flank while they're doing that. Don't even get a counter charge, and then okay, actually, I misjudged. I thought okay, so they tried turning away at the last second, and that's that's the light cavalry resigned to its fate over there. And they are completely vanquished. They still have a unit of light cavalry over there. Turning on fire at will. And I'll be leading the Yara Samurai right... Right... Right in front of the firing zone. I might, I might take... I might lose a few horses to this. Okay, so I lost. I, I was afraid that maybe a few bullets would fly into the backs of my horses. And then you just keep on running around. You just keep on running around. That match like Ashigaru got. Oh, wow. I'm actually getting... Okay, we're about to... We're about to lose that bow cavalry. That was a bad, bad move on my part. It's also because... Yeah, because I'm also under friendly fire, so that happened. Yeah, because I was under friendly fire. I totally forgot about that, the, the morale malice. And just send in the katanas. And we are good. I'm gonna tell the matchlocks to stop doing what they're doing. Have the katanas do their thing. Got hit in the flank. And that should be it. Yep, that's it. Come on, come on, come on, do your thing. Match lock Ashigaru, Machigaru. And they might they might turn to charge my match locks down. I don't want that to happen. Okay, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to turn around over here and fight this. If I take just a few more losses. Okay, that, that worked. That worked. Worked. They are routing. And if you had matchlock samurai, you would have rapid volley and you could probably squeeze in another another salvo in there with more accuracy as well, so even more devastating. All right, get out of there, get out of there, get out of there. Let the katanas, let the katanas do their thing. Don't get caught. Let the katanas. Okay, well, I think one cavalry unit got caught there. One, one, one model got caught over there. Yeah, that's it. You're gonna get gunned down. And possibly shattered. So guys, <laughs> I think that's uh, I I uh, proved my point. Demonstrated like enough scenarios, just some basic templates you could do, like using bow cavalry. And just kiting away units ad infinitum. So thank you so much for watching. Um, if you enjoy this content, please do like, comment, and subscribe.
And you can check out my Twitch channel. I stream... I'm currently streaming on Saturdays. Streaming Total War Shogun 2, so... Be sure to check out my content when, my, when I'm live, if you're interested. And I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye!